Do you need a better place for you and your team to store all that information? No, I'm not talking about tasks and projects, but I'm talking more about all the other information that may support your projects. Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And today we are taking a look at Nucleano. Now Nucleano can manage your projects if you want, but where Nucleano really shines is as a team knowledge base. So whether it's meeting notes or a meeting agenda like you see here, maybe it's some brainstorming, maybe it's some things that you are trying to work out with your team, Nucleano is a great place to organize and store all of those ideas. So let me get you familiar with some of the terminology here within Nucleano. You'll see there's a little plus button here. If I select this, I have two options. I can either create an item or I can create a cluster. An item is essentially a single file or a single workspace like you see here. In this example, I've got something called YouTube Ideas. And the nice thing about Nucleano is that you can embed those videos directly into your item space. So here I can actually watch those videos and share it with others with whom I may be working with. My second option is to create a cluster. And you can see here I actually have a few different clusters. Here's my team brainstorming cluster, which branches down into a marketing cluster. So in another way, it's like saying that you have folders or subfolders which can be a great way to organize your information. But let's take a closer look at what an item looks like and feels like within Nucleano. So here I've got an example, it's called September 10th Meeting Notes. And at the beginning, you see I've got some pretty standard text here, some things that we perhaps talked about or need to talk about in a future meeting. But I can do so much more within a single item. Here I've got a link to a PDF document. I can create separation within my item. I can create a workable checklist. I can even upload images as well. Let's start a new item just to give you a better example. So I'm going to call this one a text uh, item sample. And I can start typing in text right away here if I want. But you'll notice that there's a little plus button. If I hit that plus button, I've got so many more options available to me, whether it's adjusting the heading and the font, or if I want to change the types of lists that I have here, uploading files, images, I can even add in a code block. And of course, because Nucleano is a team knowledge base at its core, I can mention other people that I'm working with or link directly to them. So I really like that flexibility. In fact, if I go back to this example here, which has some further content, the look and some of the feel is almost very similar to Evernote in terms of a very simple editor, but you can do an awful lot in it. As I look at something like YouTube ideas, for example, yes, I can embed videos directly into an item. Here's another one I've entitled YouTube thumbnails, so I can get access directly to those images. So it can be a great place to brainstorm and store those pieces of information. But of course, Nucleano is so much more. And one of the nice things about Nucleano is that you can view your information in a few different ways. So at the top, you can see we are looking at all of my items in this particular case. And of course, I can expand or collapse certain clusters. But let's go over to the board view. Now, of course, for anyone who is familiar with Trello or the Kanban style of project management, yes, you can have a board view. So here I have a few different clusters, content marketing, team brainstorming, in progress and done. And I can move things along just like you would expect with any Kanban board if I want to move things from one area to the next. And of course, I can click on them and this window will expand and I can see more details about what's, go what's going on on that, uh, on that side of the screen. But there are other views for us to take a look at as well. This one is called the graph view. And this can be really great for mind mapping or brainstorming. 
So here you see I've got content marketing. This would be the highest level project. You can see the title of it here at the top of the screen. And then I've got my different clusters. Now you'll recognize some of these from our Kanban view. But if I click on this one, for example, Team Brainstorming, well now I can branch out even further and take a look at what's going on in these areas. I can see even if I hover over these little dots here, it will actually give me the title of those particular items. So in this case, you know, I've, I've used a bunch of different things, a combination of clusters and items, but uh, an interesting way for you to view and take a look at some of your content here within New Clino. Now, Nucleano has developed a mobile app for both iOS and Android, so I would encourage you to check it out. But some of the things that I like the most here is just how clean the interface is, right? I like how the menu is nice and clean on the left-hand side. The ability to add new items or create a new cluster is very simple and straightforward. And this simple editor, again, where you can add text immediately or change that type of input, change what you would like to add to those notes are very, very quick, very, very intuitive. So if you are managing a team or if you are part of a team, you may want to check out New Clino. And even if you are an entrepreneur or just a small business owner, maybe you're just a team of one, I think you're still going to see the benefits of using a tool like New Clino, even if it's just for brainstorming or a mind dump, a very clean interface for you to check out. Now, I would love to hear from you next. What do you think of Nucleano and what would you hope to use Nucleano for as a part of your day or as a part of your business? Be sure to tell me below in the comments. I want to thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe right here to the Simpletivity channel. We produce new content each and every week. Be sure to give this video a like and tell me what you think in the comments below. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.